The majority of my work is traditional artwork. I like doing paintings, I like working with acrylic paint and oil paint, but I've not done much graphic. I have taken some courses in school, uh, so I know how to do it. But the main reason I haven't done it is because I haven't had a tablet. <laughs> Over the holidays though, I decided to invest in one, and I thought learning how to use it, doing a bit of review work, and sharing with you guys some first projects, as well as maybe asking you guys for some help, <laughs> would be a good introduction video to this, as well as combining it with this month's Skillshare video. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Skillshare. How cool. <laughs> I'm really happy they like me enough to work with me again. <laughs> you don't know, Skillshare is an online site where you can take courses and lessons and you get a lot back and learn a lot of things given how much these courses would cost in real life. <laughs> And I've taken courses in Skillshare that have to do with like watercolors, painting techniques and practices, photography techniques. It's also nice in the sense of if you're no longer in school or taking courses and you want to learn how to do something technical, it's a nice source place to go to. <laughs> Today we're going to focus in on one of those courses called Mastering Illustrator by DKNG Studios. The graphic design course I did take in school, Illustrator was the main thing we worked in. The reason why Illustrator is good is because it works in vectors rather than pixels. If you go to like a curved line in Illustrator and zoom in on it, it's just going to stay straight versus go to pixels like it would in Photoshop. Unless you know how to use it, Illustrator is a bit difficult. So if you're new to graphic design, I would recommend looking at courses like this one. <laughs> if you would like to try it out, Skillshare has given me a code for a two month free trial with premium membership. So just click the link in the description if you'd like to try it out. After that, it's about $10 a month-ish. <laughs> it's definitely something I do use and I would actually recommend. <laughs> so here we are with this thing. <laughs> if you haven't seen my intro, that's actually my first project I've done on it and my only project really. <laughs> this is the stylus or pen that the tablet came with. Came with a case with extra tips. Also the top turns into a stand. There are lots of different tablet brands out there. I went with the XP pen one, mainly because of money. <laughs> There are other brands like Wacom who have the name and notoriety. I've not used them myself because I've just used this one. This whole set with the stand, it came with a glove, a cloth, an extra pin, and then a 22 inch monitor with quick keys on the side. I got it direct from XP Pin because they were doing a Christmas sale of sorts and I got it for 300 with extra bits for free. <laughs> and we should turn it on. <laughs> Because it's a bit more heavy duty, it does come with lots of wires. <laughs> Can't get around it. But I actually like, so it means you plug it in and you don't have to just charge it again and again. But also this is really big, so you have to make sure you have the workspace for it. They do have smaller ones, obviously, but if I was gonna get one, I was like, I might as well go big. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna go for it. This does need a computer to plug into. I'm gonna plug this into my Mac. This is an HDMI cable. And we have a USB attachment. To start out, here's my January opening picture. I did make this in Photoshop and we are going to be working in Photoshop today. Again, Illustrator is good for projects that are more corporate or need to meet specifications in graphic design. But I'm a painter and you can use programs like Sai or Photoshop to paint digitally. This again was my first project I tried on this and I've not had much time to use it since. And today I'm more or less showing what it's like to use a graphic tablet, the benefits as well as doing a little art project with you guys. So let's go over some of the cool bits. For one thing, depending on the type of brush you use, you can turn on the brush sensitivity on your stylus. Let's go with blue. If we press down lightly, we'll start to draw a circle, but if we add more pressure, the color comes through darker. This is really helpful for achieving a more natural feel to drawing on the tablet. Now let's start the main project, and you guessed it, we are drawing the cat again. <laughs> I do love Kitty Carrot Dough. Using a small brush, I'm going to do a light sketch. Do the old circle ball curved line trick to place the eyes. I'm just keeping them very basic here, sat curled around, making it very sketchy. Then add another layer on top, go over the main lines, get rid of the sketchy layer. So we're going to make a layer underneath the sketch now. Color it all in outside the lines. I know it hurts, <laughs> but it's just how I'm doing it today. Then we go back and erase up to the outline. Add some eyes. Now I'm adding another top coat. This one is going on top of the sketch layer. On this one I'm adding some hair texture around the edges to help smooth them out. Make it look a bit more natural. 
fill in those gaps, uh, fix the shadows on the face. It is a simpler drawing today, but I'm still new to this and I'd rather do a small project than take on something too large right now and get a little bit discouraged. <laughs> now we're gonna add a layer underneath everything. Switch to a cloud brush to add some purple and green tones and lighter blue tones in the background. Some grass. And then I'm going to fine tune it. So I'm gonna add saturation, make some color changes, add a paper texture. Finish out anything I think that needs to be finished. Uh, and here's the end results. <laughs> I'll even sign this one, I'm really bad about signing. And I like how it turned out. Now another thing a tablet is good for is practicing how to draw. Like with this one, you can start with a character face, draw a circle, add a chin, add a nose at the base of the circle, line up the eyes, add some tones to the eyes just to play about. And from here you can go back and forth practicing drawing different expressions or hairstyles. Character design is something that I do really want to get better at, so I'm really happy to have this tool. And overall, I'm really excited to see what I can learn, because I know I'm not perfect now. But hopefully it'll get better. Just, you know, gotta keep at it. <laughs> watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed it. <laughs> I also have my golden pen giveaway with my new pen. So if you'd like a chance to win a pen, please leave a nice comment down below. Again, thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring. <laughs> Currently deciding what color to make through. We've got blue. We've got red. Green. I'm packed and I'm ready to go to Japan. If I have not mentioned it enough, I'm going to Japan <laughs> in three hours. So I've gone ahead and made the decision to do my next week's worth of Januarys on my Instagram exclusively. I have been splitting them across this channel, Dorky and Instagram. However, while I'm in Japan, uploading to YouTube's a little bit more tricky. And I'd rather not be stressed, I think. Yeah. My daily videos on Instagram and my stories are all going to be Japan focused and I'm doing a lot of fun things. Got a lot of fun things planned. In addition to the traditional side of stuff, we are going to the Kirby Cafe. <laughs> we're doing the Pokemon Cafe again with new items. We're going to Tokyo Disneyland, Tokyo Disney Sea. We're also going to the Studio Ghibli Museum. Ghibli Ghibli. I will always say it wrong. Of course, when I get back in a week, I'm going to share stuff with you guys here on YouTube. But if you want a sneak peek, go to the Instagram for the next week. <laughs> my name on Instagram is Jamie Jo Art. I have updated the quick links on my channel finally. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm switching to Instagram for the next week. Yay! There's lots of videos there, lots of images, and things that are different from here. So, and I will see you on Instagram tomorrow. Bye! Do 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 curly. Look at that hair. Look at the look at the curls.